All right, guys, I'm going to be showing you here how to link your Fast and the Furious RK1 up so that you can play, you know, uh, together when you have two of them. So you're going to go here to the settings. I'm going to go to Fast and Furious, the settings, and you see here where it says Machine ID. I have it on one. Now, to have the other one linked to this one, I got to have the other one on two. So let me get out of here and check this one here. And... Now that I'm here, let me check this one. And it is on two. So here I can hide this menu. And now when I go into the game, they must be on the same network. On the same network, the mo mo both uh, should be on. So once I press here and I start playing here, uh, on, I, I start doing the settings here. Once I start the setting, it should mirror over there. and allow for two players so Choose the track. well i should have had it started here let me see now if it allows me so there it is and you press start Choose your transmission. i'm just choosing whoever it'll matter uh, they can leave here automatic I could put my code here. Your ride. Oh. And uh, I got my code. So now, put my name here. The cool thing when you have your code is that it says, saves the, the progress. So, here it is. Welcome to the new player, which is me. And now, again, I'm gonna go manual. And, Silos is gonna ask me for the vehicle now. Do I want to point it? Yeah, let me do this point act right here. Upgrade. And my upgrade is going to be the NOS for now. And you can see now, they're both ready. Let me lower this while this one. So you can hear one. So here it is. That one is not is not working because there's nobody, but it starts automatically once it senses that nobody's driving it. So you'll see it's still it's still there, but in a little bit it is gonna start. And there it is. It starts automatically after it realizes that there's nobody there. So you can always leave it a multiplayer. And I'm here struggling because I'm trying to look at both screens <laughs> while I talk to you guys. But here it is. And this is how you do the link. You look at the timers on both, the same timer and everything. I made it to third place. I'm surprised because I was not paying attention. Fourth place, as you can see, the head-to-head -head winner is me. Fourth place, the computer ended up in seventh place. So let's let's try now, because I'm gonna show you here. Well, let's go for the score. It got me number one score on this one. 
So to get out, you press the live button, and then you go to leave this game, and you leave the game. So now I'm gonna go to Tokyo Drift and show you how that one works. So let's go to Tokyo Drift. And one thing is the speakers are awesome here. The speakers are amazing on, on this um, deluxe cabinets. I have no complaints. So now you see, it's asking to join in. Uh, join in. And now this is a Tokyo Drift, so it's gonna give us the Tokyo Drift. Oh, you see, and the volume is controlled both. That's what was happening. So the volume is worse for both. And that is something I didn't know. Something I just noticed. So that's pretty cool. And watch this. I'm on. If I go with Nas. And I want you to see how the volume I'm controlling for one. It's a pretty sick uh, soundtrack. And not only that, not only that, the speakers sound amazing. I'm gonna raise the volume. So, here we go. So let's see. Again, that one's not gonna start until it reads that there's nobody using it. It's pretty good, pretty great guys. I mean, the steering wheel is pretty responsive. The graphics are great. People are always, always gonna complain about stuff. Uh, people tend to forget it's a $600 RK, which I also tell, tell my friends, hey, if you can wait for this to go on sale, getting both of these for about six, seven, eight hundred, even nine hundred dollars, it's an amazing deal. So it'll be good to wait. Um, I paid twelve hundred for both of these, but we have had so much fun already in the house with these. Another thing you have to be careful is when you're setting them up. Um, I thought this one was not working, this cabinet, because of um, it wasn't turning on. And the reason it wasn't starting was because I did not plug the, the pedal cord all the way through. So it wasn't, it wasn't allowing uh, the cabinet to start. But once I plug that in, as you can see, they work beautifully. And again, the steering wheel is very responsive. Woo! What did I get? I got third place. <laughs> or seventh place. Pretty cool. Uh, and you get to save. Uh, with your initials, everything. What's your handle? So I gotta put here my initials. And there it is. Well, guys, I hope you like this uh, review. If you, I want you. Well, I'll show you right quick the steering wheels, the 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 shift is different, as you can see. Uh, let me lower this. The shift, as you can see, it's a, it goes one through three, four. It's not like Rich Racer here. They just go low, low and high. Um, it has the light button. It has the view buttons, one, two, and three. Um, the pedals are the same as Rich Racer. I have those uh, 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 little special pedals on Rich Racer. It's a cover pedals. And I bought them for these that's supposed to get here tomorrow. But they look great. Um, here's the... The marquee, the lot of marquee, uh, they're a little washed out. I still see this one a little more washed than this one for some reason, but it is what it is. Every, everything looks great. I love it. Uh, I have no complaints. And RK went up uh, 
hit it out of the park. So guys, if you like this type of content, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share with your friends. Now, until we till next time. So, peace.